they observe the vision snapshot of MSO 2010, which appears when you click on the hyperlink page. What is this? Uh, oh, did I start recording? So, I am uh, not able to solve these questions, but I know how to do them. Uh, okay, let me start our discussion this with you. Yes. So this all is Excel and I'll op uh, uh, this all is Word. And you may think what uh, word it is for small children, it is for writing stories like this. When I was small, I too used to write the stories like this all. But you may think, what are you doing now? Uh, you're explaining as word, you will write stories also. But it is not like that. Today, I'll explain some more uh, important topics. So. I'll select the blank document first. I'll use the hyperlink. First will be hyperlink. So I live in Hyderabad. And uh, if you want to know the temperature of my city, you'll, you have to click this link and you'll go to the, uh, you'll get the answer to what is the temperature in my area. or uh, if you want to know what is my second channel, I'll give the link and you'll go to my second channel. So most of you might not know that I have a second channel. It is Mr. Gamer. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And I'll give something like this. Hi. Okay, I'll change the font. Hi, this is Aprame. You all might know me from the channel Fun and studies please subscribe and view my other channel to buy clicking this link or I'll just uh, just copy it and I'll just write here click me and here I'll go to insert I'll go to hyperlink and you'll get like this hyperlink is the uh, uh, option in word to insert a link or by clicking it you'll go to the link so I'll just give the link and I'll paste it. Now it became blue. <clears throat> now I'll just control and click. 
let's see what happens what it will take some time okay uh, till it opens i'll just explain you some other thing Uh, now it is opening let it open till that time i'll just uh, explain you some other things yes it open now so it comes like this and now i'll explain you some other things if we have a lot of data for example i'll take something um i will take this okay it is already open one minute so here i have my document and this is just uh, something uh, so here i have some pictures i have some text and i have some blank spaces now let's go to insert insert now header and footer here header means here in the top of the document you get some uh text like this i have already applied all the header and footer fonts so i'll just remove headers wait i think so it, it is removed for all yes now it is removed for all and i'll remove the footer too yes so now uh, it is some plain document with some pictures and with some text and with some blank pages now uh, i uh, so in some uh, in all the test books in a chapter you get the chapter name in the top of the page or docu uh, the uh, bottom of the page and you get the page number so uh, if you think that this word and i am going to print it and make it into a um make it into a book like the normal books and if i want to get all the uh, page numbers and the chapter name and all of those and the book name like that then what should i do go to insert here select the page i have selected i have kept the cursor uh, uh, on the page so here i get options header and footer header go uh, select any of the header like this i will select this alphabet and uh, i'll keep this header now i'll uh, click here close header and footer here you have header from top here we can increase the place uh, from the uh, page you're starting and i'll just leave this much place and i'll click close header and footer now it is executed here now let's check it is there in every page see here it is there in every page now i'll go to the same page where i kept my cursor and now again go to insert footer in the footer you have uh, like this blank alphabet annual uh, alphabet annual blank three column like that but beside uh, if i just want some page number in the bottom no need of any 
uh, other uh, things like this is the uh, story title but i want uh, i don't want the chapter name to come in the footer then i'll just click on the page number bottom of the page and here i have some option like plain number plain number 2 plain number 3 ancient bar 1 and i have more options here all this it will just load i'll just select one and here we got the page number 2 and i'll click close header and footer now i'll check in every page will it come here it came here it came here it came so you may think why is the first page not changing so there is another uh, thing here in the header and footer i'll just edit header and here we have a uh, selected different first page if we don't select the different first page it will also be the same and now if i close header and footer why is it not changing yeah i have to select this page any of the text I'll just go to insert header footer edit header and now I can give the title here but I just I'll just click different first page and I won't give the header and footer so it is there and it is clear now we have the header and footer and here in the header and footer you can uh, edit the header i think so we can uh, we can change the headers footers uh, we can even select date or time here we have uh, some formats available and we have we can even insert pictures cancel i'll just click cancel and uh, give picture i'll just select some random picture i'll go to desktop mono folder okay uh -huh. so i have some pics here i'll select any one or any two out of this i'll just select book because if i print it it will become a book where is it it will take some time uh, the book uh, picture is too big so the header uh, cannot take it so i'll just reset it and i'll go to in uh, design close header and footer now here it is re uh, ready and good like it was before now uh uh i'll show you something i'll close this document i'll save the changes and here uh in some places uh, in some games uh if you uh win the game you will get that you won and uh, it will be a button click okay this all is done by macro you may think what is macro 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 is a kind of small program used to do auto works it does the works automatically and
yes macro is a small uh, is a kind of small uh, macro is works so here are some changes yes uh so if you open the word or excel or anything i'll just open some uh some excel file and show you how it works I'll just open. So, see here, you get that Office Excel 2007 or which version ever you have, you get the version name. So, like that, or uh, you can give it like this. I'll just show you an example of Word. So here, as you open, you get Hello Prime. Okay. And now, if you want to close Microsoft Word, yes or no? If we click, uh, click no, you. Uh, you press the seven like that you will get sorry i'm not going to close the document why uh, microsoft word is uh, typing that but it is not microsoft word itself uh, so i'll close this document it will just ask why uh, do you want to save the changes uh, but we can use some macros so how to uh, use the macros alt plus f11 and you will open microsoft visual basic and this we are in this document so we'll click this document and in uh select document and here while we open uh we'll while we open then uh, it should give us like uh, hello username what will be the username so i am the user so my name is aprame so i uh, give like that so that prompt which comes and uh, where we get the text is known as message box message box uh message box and here you get uh, how to write the text prompt this all title help file context as this so it will come like this but i'll just uh, do some basic work i'll just give hello aprame i'll just close it and it didn't give some error like thing so now i'll just save it so i'll save it i'll go to desktop and i'll just uh, save it as click me because it will it is a uh, hyperlink what happened to save okay i'll just click yes here so i'll just check if it runs i'll close it and where is it um ah yes here i have clicked me i'll just open it i'll see if the prompt runs no 
so there is some problem i'll just check it alt f11 this document document new so it didn't uh, take it message box hello apra me so uh i just understood that uh, this document i have to insert a module so if i insert we'll get like this general and declarations and i'll just click uh, i'll just exit it now i'll go to module 1 no 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 i'll just uh check what is the problem so here i'll i just run it and i got it hello prame and now while i close it and so now document i close this and open and now close while we close message box by apra me and i give the code and now i'll run now by apra me uh, i'll just save it macro no uh here word macro enable document so here i have to save the file i'll save it so is it in desktop hmm. ah this is it i think so ah yes it is that where is it uh so it has saved on my desktop click me and i'll just open it what so while i try to exit here it gave by prame and if i click okay it uh closes it so here when i open it gave me the message my uh, the microsoft word i'll just unsure it yeah and if i click okay and try to exit here again in this uh, in the prompt we get by apprame so this is a macro and i'll just open it
also we can uh, make it more interesting like when we create a new document uh, we can uh, give it that uh, creating new uh, document and executing and uh, then when it opens again a uh, high like that we can make it this is the basic macro thank you